Chapter 26, Understanding the Data Distribution Tool. The Data Distribution Tool lets you interactively make new words, customize vocabularies, or custom commands, and make them available to all users on a particular Dragon installation. So in other words, Every person that has created a profile on a particular workstation, you can create a custom vocabulary, a custom list of words, and custom commands, and use the data distribution tool to automatically send those other users your commands, vocabulary, and custom list of words. So let's get into it. The first thing that we want to do is create a data distribution directory. So this is where all of our custom commands, this is where all of our customized list of words, and this is where all of our custom vocabularies are going to go. Now if you're interested, you need to review chapters 11 for customizing your vocabulary, chapter 16 which is working with multiple vocabularies, and Chapter 19, which is managing custom commands, if you need a refresher on how to create any one of those three items. Once you know how to create one of those three items, again, let's get to our creating the distribution directory. What we're going to do is we're going to create a folder on our desktop. This will be our data distribution directory. I'm going to right click, go to new folder. I'm going to call this folder data distribution. Okay. So essentially I've just created my data distribution location. Now I want to go in to my profile and change the data distribution location or the directory, right? So to do that I'm going to go to Dragon, Close User, allows it to close all the profiles so that we can access our administrative settings. Once it reads no user files are loaded, I know I can go into Tools, Administrative Settings. Within our Administrative Settings window, I would go to Miscellaneous, and here we go data distribution location. So this is asking where are am I going to find those customized words or those vocabularies or those custom commands. So I'm simply going to point it to the folder I created on my desktop. I'm going to click change. It gives me a browse for folder. I will select data distribution and click OK. Now that I've changed the default location for the data distribution, I can click OK. Let me now open up my user profile. We're done with the administrative settings part. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my USB profile. So all I've done really is create a folder called the data distribution. I then went into tools administrative settings change the default directory. Now that I've set it up, we're going to use the data distribution tool to push out these words and these macros and these commands to any other user that creates a profile. So the data distribution tool can be found by going to Start. 